Seniac. It's funny if we only have fish in the zoo. It's called an aquarium. We're building a zoo on the beach. We don't have any water for the sea life enclosure. Seniac. 2020. Seniac. Ooh, damn, boy. That's huge. 95% of us were thinking, that's what she said. Seniac is painting the area. That one bit that formed its own park. Bonjour. Why have a zoo when you can have a safari park? <laughs> Guys! We've peaked again. First we have the carp park. Now we have the safari park. I thought these fish slash sea based puns couldn't go any further. But actually you guys can give me some name suggestions in the comment section down below for the zoo that we created last episode. And Henry, your boy, you have peaked right now. You have freaking peaked. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Fish Town here in City Skylines, where I've got to rename my park right now. See? Um, how do you spell it? <laughs> Safari Park. Amazing. What a freaking name for the zoo. We have I thought we peaked last time on the freaking, where is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. On the the carp park after, you know, the big car park we have in here. But no, we, we, there was new heights to go. <laughs> there was just new heights to go. Guys, welcome back to another episode. If you are enjoying Fish Town here in City Skylines, please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here too, guys, please make sure you do subscribe. Because today, uh, we're going to do some industry expansions. Now... I kind of briefly mentioned it last episode. It'd be quite cool to create like a little dedicated island for the fishing. I might say for the fish then, like the fish are going to live there. And while we do have loads of room to play around with, I thought it'd be quite a good little idea. I could set up a small little island, put a few little um, fishing harbours on so you can grab a load of fish. Uh, put a little export area on there. Put a little ferry system to get the workers back and forth. And hopefully it will kind of like add to the amount of jobs that we're going to be needing. What's the unemployment like at the minute? It's 14%, so we do have plenty of movement and wiggle room to kind of increase the job age right now. And I wonder if, if I set a little... Uh, say if I, I actually don't know where I'm going to do it, but for example, if I set it up over here, I wonder if when we get a load of fish, it will export them via the ship over to here to get to the production buildings. I don't know. But that's going to be kind of interesting, boys. It's going to be kind of interesting. But before we do all that, I want to do some general housekeeping anyway. I think I noticed there's a, there seems to be a lot of death over on this side. Even though I've like placed out so many freaking um, crematoriums, this place is just not liking people living. <laughs> it's the best way I can put it. It is the best way I can put it right there. So I'm going to have to throw another one in. Because they obviously, you know, don't want to live in this little area in Blue Hole Park. So, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what much much more I can do about that. Now, we don't really have any residential demand. So, we ain't getting any new people anytime soon right now. So, let's see what your boy can do. So, let's, um, here we go. Land reclamation. <laughs> Let me up the brush size. I want to try and copy... Or do something very similar to what how this is kind of all set up. So if I take the terrain height there. Actually, before I do that, let me buy some. Where am I going to place this first? I think like it's got to be over here somewhere. So if I just purchase a little bit more land. Right, we've got the money to do this. Even though it's so freaking expensive. Right, I might as well spend some of that hard-earned cash money moving on right there, boys. I want to buy the edge as well in case I do want to set up new um, shipping lanes. But yeah, let's set it up over here, somewhere. So let's get out of this mode then. And back to the terrain, increase the brush size. So I'm thinking, uh, where is the shipping line? The shipping line's just there. So if I go here, now it's probably gonna cause a tsunami. And by probably, it's gonna cause a tsunami. Uh, but if I do this kind of, uh, pause it for a second. So if I kind of do this, obviously this is not the island, this is going to be the outer region of it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh. 
And then on t Whoa, should we paint it with sand first? Is that our sand thingy? Yeah, let me up that brush size. So how does it work here? The, the, the actual sand goes right to the edge of this. It doesn't kind of overflow it. So bringing that down then. This is kind of how we have to do it. Of that brush size a bit more. If I want to get the same kind of effect going on this. It's what we have to do, boys. It's what we have to do right now. Um, bring it all back. Bring it all back down here. There we go. Right. Sweet light. <laughs> and then we get the terrain height of this to where we then build our little island. So it's only kind of like we do like a little oblong island or whatnot. We need to have plenty of room for like export area and whatnot. But something as simple as that maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's as simple as they come. <laughs> this is going to be quite interesting. Right, let's fast forward them. Get the initial water overflow in it, and then we'll reset the sea level. Bam! There we go. Will it overflow again? Yep. It is still undecided right now. Bam! Re reset. And I think we can then get away with that. Or maybe not. There is a tsunami being caused again. But I'll reset it once more. Anyway. Uh, in just a few moments. But there is our little island that we're now going to play around with. Hmm. It looks so different. Obviously, i got to wait for the grass to grow on it. <laughs> and we might have to place some of this um, coral reef down as well. Just kind of like add to it to keep the theme going. Um, right, there is a few little waves, but I feel like they might kind of slow down and be okay. Well, at least I'm thinking so anyway. But let's set up then our little makeshift harbour. So we're going to want... I won't do a normal cargo hub there. We'll do like a smaller one. Which is this one here. And where is the spot? Okay, so we're going to go here then for the export. So if I bring it about there. Alright, they can go up in this way and whatnot, so it's all good. It's all good, boys. And then we'll do a ferry pier as well. Now the ferry pier is going to be up on this side. And we're going to add one over here as well. So where do I drop it? Do I drop it on this side? Do I drop it over here? Do I have it over here? Or will it now we're going to have it on here somewhere. I think, hmm, see this is now a tough one because I don't really quite know where to squeeze it in. Right, we'll drop it here, granted we have the fishing routes going through it at the moment, but we'll come back to that in just a moment anyway. Uh, okay, okay, it's not too far they've got to travel. And let's just set up the like a very, very basic road connection first then. So bringing it out by 15. Where does it go? Yo, boy, Seniac. Let's attempt this bend. 22 by 22. That goes around quite nice. Which we'll take. We'll take, boys. And then, do you know what? I could actually build, like, maybe a small little village on this little island. I didn't realize how big it... I've actually made it. So we might have a little bit of room for some... Stuffs. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So that's set up then. Let's just get... Oh, hang on. We are, we are actually flooding. We are actually flooding. Reset to sea level. There we go. Yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought those waves would be okay, but it turns out... Uh -uh. Um, right. Industry. I could almost have those connected. Really? You're going to play these games with me right now? 
Oh, come on. Come on, boys. You can't get right up into that little corner. And for some reason, it's elevated it. Interesting. So we'll have to use the move it tool to kind of push that up a bit, which is fine. Um, and this, we should actually un unhook it. Unhook, delete. And it's the same thing's going to happen to this. So if I just run this down here first, straight in there, bam, and then reposition this up a bit to there. All right, there we go. So I know, does it have the water? Or the, okay, it has the water. Does it have the power? Yeah, pushing it over has now given it power. That's all good then. So we'll pretty much be borderline ready to connect over to here very, very soon. Now, let me just quickly give this whole island water. So I'm just going to generally just place it down. And by generally, we're just going to go for a huge spiral so it covers everything. There we go. To there. So it'll have the water, it just won't have the power just yet. So, let me first then go to our fishing industry. And let's see. So what provides, what fishing harbour provides the most amount of jobs? We have, okay, so it's probably going to be the either the shellfish or the tuna now it's gonna have to be shellfish look at the amount of you know, <laughs> area we've got for shellfish there's a lot isn't there 36 a pop so let's start then uh it'd be nice to actually try and get it on a road so if i just drop our first one down there and then use a road just to kind of go across so I can then, I might say I can then possibly get them all connected and intertwined. That one's not going to like it really, are they? Yeah, what, what the issue is, you have to kind of make the road longer than you need it to be. So the road on the actual harbour itself um, doesn't overflow it as much because then you kind of off centers what you're trying to do. Right, that's a lot. We've actually just placed down a, a, a lot. Damn, that's a lot of shellfish. And this always annoys me trying to get this to work again. We get rid of what we can. There we go. And then... Going pretty much straight across is the road. But I'll delete back a chunk anyway. Because we have to eventually have to get it all connected up. So I've got to do all the stuff anyway for this, like uh, all the fishing routes and whatnot. But this will be a pretty good start. This would be a pretty good start for our little miniature fishing island. Well, right, let's get this road connected up then. And what we'll do is I'll pick the point there. Now, by doing that, it goes across there. Okay, I don't want to do that. So if I kind of just quickly mark up some generic... roads and then we'll just set them up ourselves so 12 by 12 there we go there we go 
And then 12 by 12. Yeah, that's technically class as connected. And then here we have... Where's that one? Oh, that's really close. Oh, no, I can't get rid of that. Oh, no. That wasn't selected. Let's go. This right annoys me so much. Double click. No, no, no. No. It's like I gotta click on this, get rid of it, click back onto it again. It's so annoying. Anyway. 15 by 15. It's not exactly. Pushty. Is it really? Can I upgrade this road? I want to get that more. More aligned. Which will place it there. Go for this method again. And then just push it. Oh, snap! Right, hold on, we're going to delete it. It's kind of messed up my whole road situation here now, isn't it? Um, right. Road. I'm going to go two here. Just throw that in. And then here. Keep it simple, mate. Keep it freaking simple. So then that would drop there. We'll use this, which I'll go through it again to unhook it. Now, for some reason, I can't unhook it. Why? Oh, because it wasn't there. There we go. Ah, the pain. The torture. That, just for that. The pain and torture just for that. And I want to unhook this road. So back into it again to get out of it. To click back into it to unhook it. God damn it. Game. Okay. Why you do this to me? Why you do this to me right now? Right, okay. The island is, is there. And the principles, the basics of it is set up. What I'm going to do first is take where it would bend out so I'm going to come out here by 30 go up by 40 and cut straight in so I know I've got a grid section there I can work with if I then come out here by 20 take this up by 70 where does the 70 connect in there there we go. I've got a little grid there I can work with replacing down something or other. I don't really know what just yet. So, with that said... Oh, should I get rid of the, some of the sand here? I just realised why there's not grass growing. Alright, brush size up. Kind of just quickly, roughly go around the edges and I'll redo it back in. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Right. Go around it all again. Some of it's a bit more beachy than others. And all that's missing then is dropping a bunch of these trees. We do a couple of different variations. I get ones on the beach. We don't want those. So this is literally what it's like. 
it's overfilled with trees, as you can see. And we're going to try and somewhat get the same kind of vibes. So, we've got these trees in. These in, which are pretty much all the same. Is it those trees as well? Almost. Where's those other trees? Ah, here they are. Where's my island? I've already lost my island. There we go. I'll keep those other ones that I just added in anyway. We're going to make it very forestry because that is the theme of, of Fishtown right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. It's so weird when you build it yourself. Uh, right. Power. It needs power, this place. So, I'm going to give it its own little solar power plant. Or do I just go with wind turbines? Offshore wind turbines? Oh, that would be good. Right, if I drop one, two, three, four... Five, six. Just reposition that one. There we go. So that gives them power. Right? Not everybody gets power. But I'll sort that out in just a moment. They're going to need all the generic services and stuff as well. So this is why I have to kind of create that little mini town in a way. So straight across. Straight across. We'll turn, not have these roads industrial, because this is kind of like where, you know, we have like a little mini town or whatnot. We'll have a small little fire station. Small little police station. We'll have a little medical center. Um, what else do we need? Oh, death care. We'll have a, oh, we need garbage. And we'll just go for like a recycling center. We'll go for this style one. I know it will cause um, pollution and whatnot. So maybe I'll place it over here. So we'll just drop it in there for now. And what else would we need? Well, we need to connect them up by power anyway. So push in this. Turn the energy off. Down to here. That down to there. So at least they have now the power. We'll push this to there. And that straight up. So then the island has the power it needs at the minute. So then I gotta do that is just quickly set up. I say quickly, like it's gonna take, you know it's gonna be easy. Set up the fishing routes, which haven't got to be mental. I can just literally make them go up and then turn back. Like that. We don't have any workers over here yet, so I don't know how it's gonna exactly work. Because they can't transport over here at the minute. So I don't know how there's boats coming out. Doesn't really make much sense at the minute. How many more have I got? How many did I get in? I didn't realise how you know. I, don't, I think I'm not placing them down. I didn't realise how many I was actually placing down. It is a bit mental. But we're going to do these nice little fishing lines. Just straight up. Straight back in. No messing about. And then straight back down. There we go. Nice little fishing field farm. A few little lines. Looks great. 
Uh, apparently have the workers for them, but we just don't have the workers over here. So this is where we then have to create our little ferry line. So ferry line, ferry pathway. Which is literally going to go up. If we could bend it. Bend round. Go up to here. To bend and turn in. Now, oh, that's another thing we need as well. Is the the ferry, what's it called now? The, the Is it a depot? Ferry depot? Yeah. i got to squeeze one of these in. Which I'll place this just here for now. Get that pumped up. It's going to delete some of my coral reef, but hey-ho. There we go. Let's get them connected for now. They need power. So that's what's needed to create my little ferry line. So if I just go for a simple back and forth... Nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy, boys. They will start pumping out the ferries, <laughs> which will transport the workers over. There were so many ships. This is a really, really, really heavily shipped area right now, uh, which we already have the trucks taking the cargo over here. So what it does with it, I don't know. I might even, I could probably even start creating like fish factories over here. Now, now considering we got such a big island, I got the room to do something like that. Um, but let's extend this outer road to go around as well. Right, where's that? Where's that ship gonna go? It's transporting to cargo. It's transporting over to here. So yeah, it is bringing the goods to the main fish town island to process those goods so it does work how I thought it was going to work so that's pretty cool uh, anyway let me just get this set up then so if, let's say if I had um, create my points like normal just straight bit there and then All right, if I come up by 10 there There we go. So that's actually going to be a pretty cool little road, that is. Uh, okay, so. Getting sidetracked again. If I go from there. To here and in, I can delete, delete. Bend in. So, I'm not saying that they're gonna take that. Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of trucks on this island, boys. There is a lot of trucks right now. Now, I don't know whether that's because, you know, they're, they're in a traffic jam, it seems like quite a lot. But there's a lot. There's, there's definitely a lot right now. Holy moly. Right, okay. And uh, let me just do my generic stuff that I would normally do. And then industry road in this side. Straight up. Has that got power? No. There we go. So... We've placed down some roads right now, so they can go pretty much where they need to get to. But there is a lot of trucks floated around this island. Which then begs the question, Yo, Seniak, maybe you want to set up uh, another export area? <laughs> Which, yeah, I think I might have to set up another export area. Oh my, I was not expecting this many trucks. And that's only from these. I want to place more down on this island as well. Holy moly. Right, okay. 
Um, should we go for the larger cargo ones this time? So I'm going to have to change my shipping lanes, aren't I? So a ship path. Um, let's have it. Should I have it? I think it'll be kind of easier as well to let it circle around the island. Because that means I'm going to be able to place something at all angles. So I could drop something there, but the shoreline is required. Um, shoreline occupied. Occupied, oh, shoreline. Oh, wait, no, anarchy. That's what I'm missing. So I could say, drop one. Let me pause it. Drop one there. And drop one there. So we put them in two locations. All right, get rid of them. Replace the road back down. Um, so I've got I've opted for these, not because of the train tracks. We could maybe potentially use them, the train tracks, whatever. But it's gone for the large ones anyway, so it can kind of handle more goods at once. And if it does get a little bit crazy, I might have to start pay placing down some train tracks or whatnot. Didn't expect it to be this crazy, though. I, I will put that out there. Um, right, up to there. Down to here. Just make sure they both got power. Yep. Yeah. So at least we'd like... I mean, they probably won't even use this one now at this point. That's probably what's going to happen. But it'll be interesting to see what does, you know, generally happen anyway. Um, has anybody got or come over to this island yet? There's a boat there. There's 23 people traveling on it. So people are going to use it. Apparently there's not enough fish. Are you sure about that? We're about to drop a load of fish on your faces right now. So don't even go there, mate. Is it because all the fish are over here? <laughs> Probably, maybe. Damn. It's going to be a lot of fish, isn't it? It is. So we just have to wait for this backlog of traffic to kind of clear itself. But there is a lot of traffic. Why is there just all of a sudden so much traffic on this small little place? I don't get it. I don't get why there's so much over here. And it's like, it feels like it's pretty much dead over on this side. It's like, there's not enough fish. And these guys are like, I've got loads of fish. There's no buyers for the fish. It's like, why, why are you always lying? That's how I feel right now. That's how I feel. So that is now off. Transporting the goods. So they're all going to go to this one then. By the looks of it. Is this. Their one of choice. Looks like it doesn't it. So I'm thinking then. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let me just throw a cargo one in. Now it's not going to be for everybody. So that's why I'm placing it over on this side. Uh, what would be the best way to, to do it? How does it look here? See, it could work. Let's move it back down a bit more. There. I literally have this running down the coastline. Alright, let me find the points where it goes straight. And we just want to connect it like that. But what we would do. 
put a bend there and a bend there. And then elevate this one. Select those points because it looks a little bit funky now, doesn't it? There we go. Right, now that's not going to solve many issues, but what I'm hoping it would do is the ones over here that I kind of feel like they're closer to this cargo section will drop off the goods here, the train would travel it over. Then these guys will drive them down to here. So over time it might sort out some of the traffic, but there is still a lot of traffic right now. And what if I then put a road through all of this? So... up to there how does that then change some of the layouts <clears throat> I wonder I wonder I wonder but yeah this is going to cause even more you know boats to come out of this island this is a funky little island right now and I like it All right, okay, so the traffic is slowly dying down. Slowly but surely it's dying down. Getting all these guys over here going to this one. It's kind of like keeping my eye and glancing over. Nobody wants to use this one, so see if we can utilize or get something out of that one. Because when I eventually put down more fishing stuff, they're going to, you know, utilize the other ones anyway. So I might be okay, but there's still quite a lot of people using this. So why don't I then... Another academic report. Get out of here, boy. Why don't I put this, like, right here? And then we go for those sweet, sweet elevations, boy. Right, pause. And then we're going to go for a 7 by 7. Go straight to there. Get the power connected back over. Ta-da! So something a little bit different. We have really, we, we, we came, we can't, we, well, we saw, we came, no, we saw, we came, we can't get, I don't know, I don't know what the saying is, but this island has now been officially taken over by Fishtown Corp. Oh, we're having Oil Town flashbacks right now. Uh, now, everybody from this side going to go to take up this one? Is that what's going to happen right now? Is everybody in general just going to go to this one now? Alright, I'm deleting this road. That road is now a gunner. I don't want too many people using it. Also, is that a one-way road? That was weird. Put it there as well. <laughs> uh, right, so we have now a little bit of evenness there's vehicles going over here there's vehicles going over here and there's vehicles going over here so it's a little bit more even which we've, we've now kind of spread it out the vehicles which is good to see but it's still a little bit mental isn't it really is so if i push now a road There's the industrial here. Straight over to here. Does that change anything? I'm trying to create those little through roads. Probably won't. Probably won't, but I'm just trying to keep an eye on it. I'm trying to understand their roots.
And um, what if I deleted this road? How does that affect them then? Would they rather go here to export to send it over to there than go actually to that harbour? That's what I want to know. And I think they're actually probably going to do that. I think the water's going to go to this one there. Not that many going over there, is there? Hmm. We'll add that road back in. Has that road gone wonky? It has, hasn't it? <laughs> right, just throw it there. But, uh, yeah. It is interesting to see how they react, how their behavior changes, depending on what stuff you kind of place down for them. It is interesting. Uh, but anyway, right, the whole point of this was to, you know, reduce our unemployment by adding in more jobs, which we have successfully succeeded. These are bringing still people over. We eventually have people living on the island at some point. But like I said, Jay yeah, has succeeded to a certain extent. Are these guys come still complaining about not enough fish? Yeah, pretty much. So why don't we now, on this island, place down a couple of fish factories for the production buildings? A way to, uh, you know, produce the goods. Let's go four for now. So maybe the other side, you know, the, the main island is not waiting for the fish to come from this island. We could do a little bit of magic. And why don't I drop down a warehouse as well? So I, could go for, I could go for like the daddy of all warehouses. Alright, bring that to there. Seven. Well, we'll just go with a seven by nine. Doesn't really make much difference. Because I want to drop a big boy warehouse just here. Boom. Which is going to store... Uh, commercial goods, which is what gets produced by the fishing industry. So this will be interesting. I want to see how much this gets you. I will change all this road layout. Don't worry. It's not going to stay there. I just want to... I'm just kind of trying to separate them all. As I watch how they uh, react. I don't think anyone wants to go and uh, drop any goods just yet. So it, it is quite interesting. So I think I can handle that traffic at the minute. The traffic has really settled itself down. So we can potentially handle that. So when I build more fishing stuff, they might then start using, you know, this one, maybe this one, that one, whatever. I don't know. If I put some there, they might drive up and go in. How full is that? 20%. So that's still waiting for fish to be imported. How much are we making of the fishing industry? Oh my god. Nearly a hundred thousand. Damn. That's a lot of fish. If you ask me, boys. That is a lot of fish. Right, okay, okay, okay. So, let's get... How much do those... Is it ant-ship shellfish? It doesn't really say what it produces. Freight truck 18. Tuna, freight truck count 24. Yeah. Right. 
Should we get some fish? No, not fish farms. I like the seaweed farms because they provide a lot of jobs and also produce a lot of goods. So why don't I squeeze a load of seaweed farms just here? So we go pause. One, two, three. Four. Just about got those in. All gone. Oh. Hold on. Wait a minute. Right, four additional ones there, which don't have power. So I wonder where, where they'll take them. They'll probably end up taking them over here and into to the factories. This has got... Oh, it's only 4% full. I didn't think anybody went over there at that point. Now, I could squeeze in some more factories and whatnot. Where are you going? Ah, uh, ah, I get it. Okay, so they're picking up goods from the warehouse and then taking them to the main island to drop them at the stores. That's why there was an ice cream. I don't know why they're... Are they making flish... Flish? Fish-flavoured ice cream? I don't know. Sounds weird. It does, doesn't it? But from doing all this, it's bringing down our industrial slightly and increasing our residential. So the... the the demands are slightly shifting right now. Now that doesn't pump out as many vehicles as the other places do. But we're going to squeeze in a few more. A few more. So it's all going to be shellfish. Just because of the region. I could do anchovies going around but I don't want to keep it that close. Uh, shellfish, where are you? You're here. So I'm just going to dot then, pause, dot a few around as it kind of leads around the bend. To there, so that's quite a few thrown straight in. There we go. So, try and be cautious of what we're deleting here. Get that pushed back a bit. Oh, no, not that one. Right, there we go. So, they'll need... Okay, they've got power. We're okay. Just got to set up the fishing routes. And this is going to create even more trucks on this tiny little island, guys. So I've got to pull it quite far back up because they've got to get past the uh, um, anchovy section to the shellfish section. It's quite long on some of these little bits. So like I said, it looks like quite a long line, but they only start really fishing once they get to the pinky purple section. There we go. Again, it would have provided so many more jobs. And it's also going to dump out so many more trucks, which I'm hoping, you know, they start using this one. So there's not enough buyers for the fish, producing lots of fish. Yay, 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 yay. Just go away from them to do what they've got to do. And are we now down to 9%? No, still 10% unemployed. The industry is making us 84,000. Think of how much more money it's making us, but yet we're still not turning that much over in profit. It's glorious. 
It is. It really is. Right, we might even set up a little public transport network around here. A little bus route linked around. Right, should we see if we can get any commercial squeezed in anywhere? Maybe spark a few more buyers for the products? Let's see what we can get up here then. So let's do a bit of strip here. And a strip there. Now continue, continue here with the high density commercial. Don't have the water just yet. There we go. So a nice big shopping area there, which will then eventually surround it with more residential. So they'll have even more shoppers to use, uh, utilize it. So that will look, create more jobs and create more buyers for said products that we've created. And you know what's interesting? Low effective fishing route. Yeah, it kind of is this one, isn't it? It only ends here. Oh. There we go. Make it a tad bit longer. We're not really seeing as many vehicles being pumped out of here, really, are we? Not as much as we see over here. I think it's just generally dying down in, in general, isn't it? Right, we've killed off our commercial demand right now. Where is it? That's as much as we got in there. Which again provides more jobs. Now down to 9% unemployed, which is great. Everyone's going to have a job. Can we get this up to 100,000 in income from the fishing industry? We now float, it was at 90% at one point. Uh, 90%, 90,000 at one point. Seem to have died down a bit. But we need more buyers. Half that goes with 12% load. There we go. They're utilizing this more. Now the trucks are coming out, boys. Now the trucks are coming out. Now we're up to 95,000 in the bank right now. Damn! 35% of our total income is from the fishing industry. And that is consistently growing as we go. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, how many people got off the ferry? A uh, fair few. How many people are waiting right now? Not many. Where is the, the nearest public transport link? to that ferry. That subway uh, it's only a short walk then. So I think I'll go too far. These guys are really complaining not enough buys for the fish still. Do you not see how much freaking commercial your boys just dropped in? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> now what I could do as well is place down more, where is it, fish markets. So that's always a good thing I can squeeze in. We've got two over here. We've got one over there. One over there. I did have one over here, but I kind of got rid of it. So I'm going to place it one back down. Boom. And it almost fits in perfect there. So we've got one over here as well. Well, we've got three over on this island. And why don't I squeeze one in over here as well? The joys of fish town, you're never too far away from a fish market. I'm going to squeeze it. And it probably doesn't make much sense being in the office industry. But I'll throw one in anyway. If one of those workers want to buy their lunchtime fish. And I'll place one just here as well. On the edge of that commercial area. Again, more buyers for that delicious, tasty fish. <laughs> right. 94,000. 95,000. 98,000. 99? Come on. Oh, you're so close to getting 100. <gasps> 101! 
Boys, we did it. We made 101,000 in income from the fishing industry, which is now pushing us to almost 40%. It's on its way to push us to 40% of our total income is from the fishing industry. Holy smokes. It's going to be half the economy at what, some point. It really is. And that's only 1% full. So even though there's not enough uh, buys for the fish, why don't they just store it in a warehouse? And these guys are complaining about there's generally not enough fish. We need more fish, boys. We have to turn this little strip here into a fishing section. We're going to have to. We're going to have to at some point. But for today, we're going to end it for here. We have our beautiful little island all set up right now. Dedicated to just fishing. It's sweet, mate. We sent 100,000. We sent it, boys. It ain't lying to us. We did see it. This is amazing. Guys! Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye. Bye.